We're joined now by Lucas, his mom, Sherry, and the director of the Vascular Birth Mark Center at Mount Sinai Hospital, Lucas Surgeon, Dr. Gregory Leviton. Thank you all. And Lucas, how are you feeling now? Um, with, all the, with all the pain that I was in before, I'm really not, I don't have that pain at all now. I mean, I don't wake up with it, I don't go to sleep with it. I can sleep through the night without waking up, or, and I can do activities like swimming and all that stuff without pain and whatnot. It's just a whole different world without that pain on there. As his mom, I'm curious what it's <laughs> what it's been like to to see the change. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, we probably went through 100 ibuprofen a week, down to zero, and. <laughs> He, he's become so much more independent now. He's, he's moved out. He's got a new dog. Oh, what's your dog's name? <laughs> Chase. Chase? He's a, Chase. He's a German Shepherd. So is it fair to say that since you were last time on the stage that you've, you've been able to reclaim your life? Yeah. Not having that weight on you anymore, it's, it's completely different. But it's different, like, the best kind of way it could ever be because it's something that never thought would happen that happened. So it's changed pretty much everything, but for the better. It's weird not, you know, having that pain or whatever every day. It's weird to be able to sleep all throughout the night, and it's just like a change of life that's really been amazing. Even the further it goes, it's still been more amazing every day. Dr. Levinson, do you, I, I wanted to ask really quickly, do you, do you expect now that Lucas is pain-free, that he'll continue to stay pain-free going forward? I think that's exactly what we're hoping. You know, this was a very burdensome tumor, and it literally took up a lot of blood supply, which really was a lot of nutrients being supplied to feed it. And I hear this experience with a lot of other patients who have large or, you know, difficult cases, that when you remove the burden of the disease, their burden of feeding this tumor goes away, their energy goes up, their sleep patterns get better, it's really is a you know, complete change in their quality of life. Greg, all I can say is that was some surgery. I mean, I know the level of difficulty that you had to deal with. And uh, I mean, going into it, you expected one thing and, and found something totally different. During the surgery, we encountered these very large vessels that made the surgery much riskier than we expected. This nerve, which is really like a spaghetti strand, was interwoven with these large vessels. And they're the type of blood vessels that are of the size that are typically found in the chest. And a normal blood vessel in the face is like the size of a straw, but these vessels were the size of a grown man's hands, and they just don't belong there. And every vessel had the potential to be life-threatening. And so we just had to take our time, and we had to go millimeter by millimeter, vessel by vessel, until we had safely removed it. Awesome job. I would say that we have the pleasure on our show of sharing stories with you. And a lot of times, guests will come on and say, I, I just want to be ordinary. Well, Lucas, I would tell you here today that you are extraordinary. <laughs> Everything you've been through. So I, I wish you all the success and happiness in life that you deserve. I also want to take this moment to thank you, Dr. Levitin, for offering your services and your whole team. We really appreciate it. Thank you.